Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis. With me today is June Liu, Seth Geis, John McTavish. How you guys doing? Good. Thanks for asking. London. So today we are talking about the Tatuaje TAA 2020. Uh, this cigar is, I'm not sure what to classify it, Robusto Extra 5 and 5 eighths by 54. Um, comes out of the My Father Factory in Nicaragua. Robusto Grande. There you go. All right. So I'm good enough. Why church? I just said it in English. Uh, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, binder filler bowl from Nicaragua, blended by Pete Johnson. Uh, price point is $11.95. Uh, cigar was released in April 2020. Uh, we purchased this cigar from Corona Cigar Company. So be sure to check them out for all your cigar needs. And um, whiskey. There you go. So, uh, June, uh, take us through your overall experience with this cigar. Yeah, so uh, medium, overall, uh, medium, medium plus-ish on the body. Uh, so it's got a good body to it. Uh, Strength-wise, medium. Um, in, in terms of flavors, uh, a lot of minerality. Uh, got this nice red pepper zinc to it that I liked. Um, but what I didn't like as much is, uh, you know, on the onset, um, the, the, I thought the profile was a bit sharp um, and, and a little bit bitter as well. So, like, uh, you know how, like, sometimes you get, like over roasted coffee, uh, like Starbucks coffee, right? They're consistent, but they're consistently bad <laughs> because they over roast everything. And as a result, it tastes a little too like roasty and bitter. Uh, and that's kind of like what I got at a lot of this flavor profile. Um, you know, I, not my favorite of the CAAs that Tat does. Uh, it's probably my least favorite, honestly, um, but not really fair given that most of my TAAs that Tat Tawahe did was Connecticut Broadleaf base, whereas this is not. Um, but you know, I, it, it was it was average. Um, it's not something I would probably. Uh, I thought about buying a box when smoking was doing a thing discount on it, but um, maybe uh, it was good to just try this for now. <laughs> All right, Seth, what were your overall thoughts? Yeah, I liked I liked the cigar. Um... It, it delivered, you know, what I, I, I'm a big fan of Ecuadorian Sumatra. It had the nice stone fruit, mocha, uh, cinnamon, pepper, spice um, vibe going for it. There was a little bit of mineral qualities on the end. Um, but it was just a solid, solid cigar that was kind of this Sumatra spice with Nicaraguan tobacco flavor profile that I thought it was going to generate. Um, well constructed from beginning to end. Very, very nice experience. All right, John, what were your overall thoughts? Yeah, pretty pretty classic Pete. Um, I mean, I'm really just at this point echoing what everyone else said. I, I enjoyed it as well. I thought it was good. I mean, the price points can, might be challenging, but that is always the case with any kind of TA stuff. But, um, you know, overall, good experience. Kept me interested. Flavor flavor transitions were good. Uh, construction, of course, was good was great um you know amazing construction slightly resistant draw which i'd rather have a slightly resistant draw than an open draw so yeah aaron what was your overall experience like i thought this guard had a nice start um had some really nice depth to the cedar nice spice level to it um some char joined in in the second third and then kind of built up over the final third um so that caused the enjoyment to wane a little bit in each third um definitely not my favorite tatuaje ta release um but you know people that are fans of the brand. I think definitely we'll find something they like here. Um, just not something that really hit it for me. So probably not something I'm going to kind of end up returning to. So let's get into the score. Start at the top with John at 6.67. Uh, Seth next at 6.20. June gave it a six even and I gave it a 5.25. So John, how'd that 6.67 match up for you? Well, first of all, that's not something you really see a lot is me at the top of the uh, scoring profile. So that should, you know, for Tatawahe fanboys out there, that should get your get your eyebrows raised. That's about where I would expect. Uh, certainly not the construction holding it back. Um, you know, it's it's really like a six five in terms of flavor. It's elevated by the great construction, which you kind of should be for a cigar of that caliber and price point. Um, I would smoke more of these. This is this is good. All right, Seth, six point two zero. Yeah, no, listen, this is a this is a good cigar. Um, Listen, the Tatawahe guys are going to buy this. That's just, yep. I'm not too worried about them selling these. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's a good Pete release. You know, I'm, I know I'm pretty critical, at least like the My Father releases and some stuff that comes out of the factory, but this is, this is a good release for Pete. Um, I've always liked his Ecuadorian Sumatra stuff. This isn't nearly as good as 
the stuff used to be like years ago, like 2011 and so forth when he had a lot of Sumatra stuff. But it's it's still a good release. Um, and I like that he changed it up from the Broadleaf and Mexican to a Ecuadorian Sumatra. All right, June 6th, even. Match as well. Um, I, I did have a good first third, uh, but the remaining profile was pretty average. Um, absolutely Tatuai fanboys will buy this, especially um, possibly, you know, this may be Pete's last TA that he does. Uh, so, you know, uh, hot it, takes. It, uh, yeah, he, well, he said this on one of our V Herps, I think. Yeah. Uh, shelter in place. Yeah. Herbs. So, um, it, unfortunately, he didn't, you know, in my opinion, he didn't go out with a bang for this TA release. Um, but who am I to say? Sales talk. June yeah. just reused. Uh, my five and a quarter matches up well as an average overall average flavor profile. Um, construction was iffy on my sample. It was um, uh, went out once, recorded a relight, a little wavy. Uh, the draw was pretty snug as well, so it was just kind of good construction, I guess. So um, yeah, I have no problem with my score. Uh, any other final thoughts from you guys on this cigar? No, I have none. All right. Something. Back to Broadleaf, Pete. I know you just got a whole bunch, like you said. So, there you go. Oh, Broadleaf, please. All right. If you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. But check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalettes.com. Follow us on all the social media channels and catch uh, all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.